Okay, what's up? What's up guys? I'm going to show you guys how to fix your remote view on your app for your Harbor Freight Cobra cameras. Mine was working fine until I updated the app. Once I updated the app, I could no longer view it on my phone. All it had was the little thing turning to say offline, 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 offline. I'm like, what the crap? It would send me notifications and I can actually watch the video of like, you know, the motion detection or whatever. But it would not let me remote view my cameras. So this is what you have to do. Okay, so you go in here. At the bottom. Your main menu. Type in your password. I'm not going to show you guys that. Just tap it in real quick. Okay, so I'm going to bring it to the screen. After that, what you do is you go to Advanced. You know, System. Hold on. Now you go to Advanced. And on this screen, you got to do different things. All you do is go right here, Load Default. When you click on it and it shows you, you can load the default display, the record. You can load everything to default. Click all is the best thing for you to do. And it'll redo it. Put everything back to a factory reset, basically, is what this does. Now, I'm not going to do it because I just did it. And I don't want to do it again. So, now, after that is done, you save it. And it'll automatically you know do a restart it'll say something about the uh, resolution click OK whatever it'll restart it and you start it back just like whenever you first got it you create your username you go through the wizard create your username and password and then just use the normal default whatever keep going through the the uh, the system wizard and you're done after that, what you're going to do is go to System, go to Users, and then you create a user. Don't use, don't use your administrative one. Go ahead and make a new user. After you make your new user, you can enable it. It's going to ask you, let's say I'll show you, Edit, you, en you enable it. It's disabled at, at first, but you enable it. And I would recommend putting a password. You don't have to, but anybody who can just go in there and get on your Wi-Fi, get on your cameras if they had to have. Anyway, go ahead and put that. Put a password. I recommend putting eight characters only because the system to log in into here, you could put, I guess, as many characters as you want, but... Whenever you go to log in on app, it you know, it has to be eight characters exactly for some reason. So just try to keep this exactly eight characters, and then you know save it. Nothing changed for me because I didn't do nothing. After that, you need to go to permissions, and then you set your permissions. Remote login. This is the one that you want to click on for sure, so that way you can remote. Login, disk management, parameters, maintain, manual record, whatever. All I did was click all for mine. And then you save it. Nothing changed for me because it's the same. After that, now I can't show you guys cause this because I'm on my phone. But after you download the app, you go click the plus sign to add device. Go to device list, add device. After you add device, just do the online search. If you're at home on your own Wi-Fi, do the online search. And it'll automatically show up. Click on it. Type in the user that you created and enter the password. And it'll connect to it and you're good to go. That should solve the problem. And I hope this will help you guys out. Because I have been out without the remote view for months. And I've searched 
YouTube, Google, all kinds of stuff. But nobody had a video or nothing to explain what to do. So, this was it. Fix my issue. And I can now view my camera's remote view. And you're good to go. If this has been helpful, please push the like button. If it, it has not, you know, push the dislike button. And um, please like and subscribe. Alright, thank you.